So in previous versions of Samsung software, they had a feature called private mode, and this allowed you to sort of um, lock down specific types of media like photos and videos and whatnot uh, behind a password and sort of keep them out of view from applications and um, you know just normal, normal use. Uh, it was actually a pretty fun little feature. And uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S8, they have something called Secure Folder, and it sort of expands upon that idea by allowing you to, um, it's essentially a phone inside of a phone. The folder allows you to place applications inside of there, uh, different types of media, contacts, notes, all kinds of stuff that you can lock down behind a password or your fingerprint and sort of keep uh, separate from the main OS of your device, um, whether that's from um, applications that are trying to access this data or just somebody maybe that perhaps gained access to your phone. Um, it's a great security feature and here's how you can turn it on. You basically go into your settings, you go to lock screen and security, scroll down to the bottom and then you have secure folder. Go ahead and tap that and then you're going to have to set it up with some type of password. It can be the same one as your lock screen but I prefer um, it's recommended you use something different um, and then you can also set up with your fingerprint to unlock as well which I did there uh, and you can choose your different lock types you have your auto lock secure folder which will whenever you leave the folder it you can lock down you know after five minutes or immediately immediately is always usually pretty um, recommended or even when your device restarts if you'd like uh, you have notifications that you can display so Applications that you put inside of there um, are completely separate from the rest of applications outside of there. Again, it's almost like its own little phone. So you can sign into different accounts that are that are from applications that you set inside a secure folder. And then you can sort of set up the notifications that your secure folder will, will show from those applications. Um, you could also have it so that it shows up on your home screen as a little folder. Uh, or you can hide it if you'd like and um, all kinds of other different things you can do and you can do set up your use biometric authentication like your eyes or your fingerprints when you unlock it um, and you can even back it up this is actually really important so under here backup and restore you can sign into your samsung account and you can have a backup to the cloud and sync to if you have other devices or you move to a new device it'll sync everything that's on there to your new device um, up to 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage so that's pretty darn useful I definitely recommend going in there and setting that up as well. Um, and then once it is, let me show you how it works. Basically, you will have a little icon on your home screen called Secure Folder. You can open it. Go ahead and use my fingerprint there. Um, you can lock it up. You can add applications to here. And when you add an application to here, say Instagram, uh, basically you're going to have to sign in to your account either again or maybe sign into a different account if you'd like, if you want to have, have different accounts on different uh, things there. Your gallery, you can add photos and media to this sort of secret gallery. Uh, same with calendar contacts, you can basically have an entirely separate phone life inside of your phone, uh, whether this is all for like business stuff or just um, stuff you want to keep out of the view of others. Um, notes as well, uh, just all kinds of stuff that it will be locked down on your phone and sort of in its own separate world there. Um, to add, say, maybe photos, here's a very simple and easy way. Basically, you're going to go into your gallery, um, and then you can just long press it, tap the three-dot menu, and then go to move to secure folder. Of course, you're going to have to authenticate with your fingerprint or your password, and then boom, just like that, it has been moved to your secure folder. So that's a quick and easy way to use the secure folder on your Galaxy S8. Uh, definitely check it out if you uh, are looking for, I guess, setting up a phone inside of a phone.